No. You don't want me doing Haviari Group 8 because you don't want me taking your world record. I want the world record on this because I ballsed it up big time yesterday. My potential time save puts me at a uh, way ahead of world record. And I know I've got more to give on some of the other tracks as well. Well, well, maybe you should grind other tracks because you know your your points overall are looking pretty lacking at the minute because you got one world record, but. Maybe you should take up full game runs. That's the thing, like, I am much more interested in full game runs than I am in individual levels. It's one of the things that actually completely stops me from doing individual levels in Quake and Doom. Because the strats are completely different. Like, in Mario Kart, yes, you've got the mushrooms, but in general the strats are the same. For most tracks, you can time trial them and you are getting better at them. You know, you might want to practice some shroomless cuts, but other than that, you're pretty good. But, yeah, I'm full game. Which is one of the reasons I've got slightly annoyed at Doom for removing the Doom 2 leaderboards off of speedrun.com. Because they're all like, yeah, but you could just go to DSDA, and that's true. But what if you can't beat the game without dying in ultraviolence? Because <laughs> that's kind of like... Beat it, beat the game... Think about it in today's terms, right? It's because you could only do demos at the time, you couldn't do videos and they delete after dying, or stop recording after dying. Imagine today saying you have to do a complete deathless run of a game, and that in the hard mode, and that's speedrunning. Because everyone's talking about, oh, you have to do it in UV, you can't do it on any of the others, you can't do it on easy. But for me, it's the deathless part that puts me off, because that's effectively a challenge run, is do it deathless which means that you're not starting if you want to speed run you're not starting by speed running you're starting by doing a challenge run quake a little bit different because you can rta the full game you can only not rta the individual episodes which is fine by me especially since i've just managed to do it it just takes a bit more of a grind it takes a good bit of practice but it kind of comes around, and I guess I could see it for Doom, but damn, Doom was hard when I did it. Also, Felix, you missed brutality on yesterday's runs for uh, speedruns, group two. Oh, my PB was dog here. The fuck? I've gained time on my PB here. Because it was a 132. That's going to be harder. Uh, so, two PBs. PB on the track. And PB my best time doing all the stages back to back. My full run PB is a 132. I got a 128 on that last stage. I've got a 127, about a second faster on the stage as my best ever stage time. Yeah, getting Morrow to merge the 
uh, split uh, the the branch into main is going to be harder than actually getting it accepted into the game itself. I love my gaming at the minute. It's Quake and then straight into Art of Rally, no warm-ups usually. Straight into runs. I can't believe that was first try. I was honestly prepared for a fight to finish episode 2 in one run. I now need to get it consistent. You know, consistent enough that I can do it after another episode. And with, well, probably it will be episode 4, 2, 1, 3 seems to be quite a common episode order. But yeah, I've got to get it consistent and not lose episode one and learn three and four. It's not an easy game. It's not an easy game. I'd vaguely like to get there by XDWC. Because I know that I won't be trying it while XDWC is on. That was shit. I'm a third of a second behind PB currently. Pace if I'm going to get this record. I'm only doing this so that I finish Quake on uh, a high note though. I was, def I was not planning at all on playing this today. But the fact that I finished Quake, I'm like... I'm happy to just finish Quake on a high note today. Come back to it tomorrow instead of failing some episode 3 strat again and again and again. If I were just to go back and fail episode 3, I'd probably not, not enjoy it as much as finishing out on that absolute stonker. Like, one run to check that my buttons were working, one run where I pressed the wrong button halfway through, while still clean, but pressed restart instead of next level. And, uh, 
One to cap it off. That's all that was needed. A little bit of time loss. Now a second and a half behind. But I've got a lot of time to make up on Haviari because my best split is a 329 and my reverse Haviari is a 353 that I got yesterday. So I've got 20 seconds. <laughs> Quite conservatively 20 seconds because I definitely haven't ground that map. I was not on a flyer at the end of that run yesterday. I was pretty brutally wrecked. I was definitely ready to stop gaming when that happened. It was still better than my attempt in the all tracks stuff. Pretty good CV, I'd hire you. Shows grit, shows determination. You know, bosses these days, they want you to show that you can compete something. So why not put has finished Doom on Ultra Violence Deathless? Which I technically have, but only episode one. I've done Deathless episode 2 and 3 on uh, Hurt Me Plenty. Yeah, Hurt Me Plenty. Second. Skill 3 rather than Skill 4. Then Deathless on the second and third. Haven't even finished Thy Flesh Consumed actually. Maybe I should. I should finish uh, Doom 2 as well. Even saved. I've never even done that saved that and fl they flesh consumed. Basically I'm stuck in 1993, that's what I'm trying to say. Stuck in 1993 and happy with the shareware version, to be fair. I would have definitely been one of those guys that got the shareware version of Doom and never bothered upgrading it. Because it does feel like a complete ending. Quake's even worse. Quake is the worst, genuinely. Quake is absolutely the worst. Considering that they should have learned their lesson after Doom. Oh yeah, we gave away episode 1 and no one bought it because they thought that the, uh, the ending was fine. What the fuck am I driving today? Why is that so bad? That's disastrous.
Okay, as long as I get Palace R. Oh. In a good time, because I didn't get Palace R in a good time on the last one. So if I can do this in a good time, I make back the time that I just lost. Big if though. Why am I bad at this video game? And all of them, to be fair. But right now, specifically this one, because I'm playing it. Actually going to lose time. Versus my fucking... Oh no, I haven't. Not quite. I've not quite lost time. I've gained just under a second. My score was so high because it counted all the daily and weekly events. But have you not done any daily and weekly events then? Or something? Because I don't think I've had that... All oh, right. That is a seriously close set of scores, considering how many scores I must have that, are a thousand, that I've got a thousand points on, because you haven't done them. Oh, actually, I don't get any points unless multiple people have done it, do I? Because it's it depends on the score of the guy next to you, so I get z I don't actually the calculation does help. The calculation for XDWC is what we're using. It would give zero points if there was only one user. We couldn't work out how to do the um, XDF.GG points system. Also, fuck you, give me bonus cars. If Trackmania players have to be good on AO8 and RNG maps... Yeah, I, I mean, we've never seen just one person because the scoreboard doesn't update fast enough 
to only ever have one person. Like, multiple people are going to finish the map and the scoreboard only updates every five minutes. Multiple people will finish... Yeah. Multiple people will finish the map within the first five minutes. Three. That's some time saved. That's a little bit of time saved. And the Scylla. I care about bonus cars and Doma cares about bonus cars. And also the slower the car, the more time difference there'll be between people. Which means that I can get some points by going to the bonus cars. Because there'll be more time difference. Which means more points difference. Which technically makes bonus cars more important. <laughs> Which is one of the things that that really, really fancy system fixes. The fact that you can have a really long map that's got big discrepancy between times and it not have, uh, but not having many finishes. That doesn't give very many points. Whereas a map with lots of finishes gets points. More than a thousand. Like the baseline is a thousand for a top time for a first place. Five, 980 I'm losing time but I'm close to my best Yeah. Counting Australia is a tough one. Potentially have two, you know, when we display it, have two lines with Australia without Australia. I know a couple of leaderboards that do that. So we could even do that with, it would be four leaderboards, bonus cars, Australia, so everything, everything, all countries, no bonus cars, discounting Australia, yes, bonus cars, and uh, no Australia, no bonus cars. But I do know a couple of leaderboards that do that. Or, so can we please have two leaderboards and have a bonus cars leaderboard? Just bonus. Like shortcut and non shortcut in Mario Kart. It can be a different page. We can have a hidden web, we can have a different web page. And it will just be one leaderboard on the main page and then one on the second page. But yeah, Australia is going to be the interesting one. I would say we just have to do plus Australia. Honestly, we have to just 
have two lines. One that says, that's the best way to do it really. One that's with Australia, one that's without. Why did I have to gold everything down here? This is actually going to PB by the basis of Javiari uh, was shit. But yeah, I like the reason I like full game runs and. I like AF in Mario Kart is because it forces me to play everything rather than just grinding out one track for the leaderboards of that track and it gives me something to work towards overall when I get tired of something like hunting for a world record fine or a top 10 or whatever fine but if I get tired of that or once I've completed that goal if I don't want to go so deep I can go and casually top up some of my worst performing tracks. You know, if I've do gone for a couple of really good times on tracks that I like, and I've got way better at a game, so I did this for Mario Kart, I ground a couple of times and got some high intermediate standards on a couple of tracks. I then didn't know what to do next, so I just casually went round um, and topped up a couple of times, and I was casually able to get a few times from beginner to low intermediate because my actual driving ability in the game had improved so it's that kind of thing that this brings so having um, bonus car only content You know, having it as an option. Because then you can manually add. If, if you want to compare yourself to someone else, you know, across everything, just add the two scores together yourself. We can do that. It'll be easy enough to get the table out and add it together yourself anyway as a whole table. Because you could just copy it into Excel and do it yourself. Copy name and then all of the times and then you know row B plus row C equals row C that uh, equals row D with row A being one I'm losing time again because two seconds apparently I'm losing two seconds against my best time but I set all my best times in the last one I can gain time on Javiari if I drive well it's a big if, considering. But I've got a 3.34 and a 3.30 is my best time on this stage. Not a great start. Yeah, LibreOffice Calc. I still call it Excel, even though it's really annoying calling it Excel because then I go and Google something for how to do something. It's like, ah, no, that's not going to work because while well, formulas tend to work the same, there's not many formulas that aren't the same between the two. Um, the but the order of buttons you press. I tried to add a fucking button. I wanted to do this yesterday. It turns out in Excel, it's also a pain in the balls. I wanted a button that adds one to the value of a thing. So when I do an attempt at this, because it's in a spreadsheet rather than a speedrun timer, I press the button and it adds one to the attempt counter cell. 
That is apparently a huge farce. Hooking up that to just a button. You need like eight cells to copy data. I just couldn't work it out, so I just thought it's easier if I just type the number. Which is going to be easy until I get to like 100 runs, and then it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass typing three numbers, but whatever. When I get to a thousand runs on one singular 12 track custom rally, we'll see. We'll see if I can potentially make it a button. Or we have an auto splitter by that point, to be fair. Yeah, an auto splitter fixes this category for split tracking sort of purposes. Don't spin out. Oh, you bastard. I did crash it there completely last time, so that's better, I suppose. Hook her up. Are you fucking kidding me? I've actually lost even more time. Oh no, I haven't. I've just not beaten my PB. It's alright. I've saved time. Save two seconds. <laughs> Save 2.3 seconds. Let's go. The final track. 20 seconds to be saved. 7 seconds need to be saved. I don't know how much I need for a world record though. I'm only uploading this if it's a world record. Why? Why do I get group two there? smooth and keep it on the road.
Do it. Come on. Okay, that's a good time. It's not amazing, but it's good. 3, 33, 128. It's a PB. It's a PB. But is it enough? PB is PB, but is it enough of a PB? That's the question. Is it world record? <laughs> Custom rally 12 stage, you bastard. Am I genuinely? 28.9, and it's a 27.6. It's not world record. Bollocks. <laughs> 